When I do queer youth events at school, um, all of my friends are pretty much involved with me. Like all of my friends help with what's in a name and with coming out day. But my like queer, my peers, um, they they um, they support me. But sometimes they don't really um, take in what we're doing, and they still continue to do things that are like you know going against what what's in a name is about. And my involvement is the same because our friends are like really empowering because we're all together doing this. But again, the peers don't really take it in seriously. So it's both empowering and a little not so much. What our school could do to make a safer environment for LGBTQ and straight allies is to have more like local events, like for education and stuff. Like we could have a Watsonville Pride and that's what I think one of our main goals is to do this year. And I believe that um, my school could like make the punishments harsher for, you know, when kids say the F word in a derogatory um, way to kids that aren't even gay, they, they throw it away, around so like wastefully, they just throw it at everyone and they don't know what they're saying and I really want kids to understand what they're saying because they don't. So I think if the school was to make the punishment harsher for saying things like this, kids would understand more what they're saying. Um, I first believed that I was queer friendly. I think I was three. I was watching the Ellen DeGeneres show and um, Ellen was talking about being a lesbian. And I, I asked my mom what that was. Well, kind of because I was three. I didn't really know how to talk. And she told me that um, she was like, you know, she liked girls and I like, I don't know how I was, I was kind of against it. I was like, how I know Cinderella was never with a girl, but then I started to realize I was like, there's this whole other side that you know the that society doesn't show you, you know. And I began to began to think I was queer friendly around the age of ten, due to coming back from like a really religious background. I was told that it wasn't okay, but then I grew up to think like I can think for myself, and this isn't okay. People are people. Love is love. And I believe what I believe. My favorite movie is Dirty Dancing because it's really cheesy and it has really great dance moves. My favorite movie I think is The Breakfast Club because the um, characters in there all start off like hating each other for no reason and then towards the end of the movie they realize that they are so similar and they have so much in common and they're all just trying to make it in, in, in life. My favorite color I think is blue because it's a very like deep color. There's like a lot of different shades and it has a lot of different meanings. It can be like happy and light or it can be like dark and serious and it's just very mysterious. My favorite color is red because it's bold and that's what I want to come out as.